Ever had one of those days when you were just brimming with energy, felt like you could conquer the world, or simply found yourself strutting like a peacock? Well, my friends, you were simply feeling your oats. Now you might be wondering, what on earth do oats have to do with my spunky spirit? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into the intriguing origins and usage of this phrase. Or well, feeling one's oats is a phrase that's been around for quite some time. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as being lively or feeling self-important. It's believed that the phrase started making its rounds in print in the 1800s. For instance, an excerpt from a newspaper in 1848 amusingly describes a high sheriff in Indiana who, feeling his oats, was determined to perform his duty to the fullest. Now, you might be scratching your head wondering how the act of touching or eating oats became an idiom for a surge of high-spirited behavior. Well, the phrase doesn't actually refer to the physical act of handling oats, but rather to the effects of eating them. And not by humans, but by horses. You see, when a horse is fed oats instead of the usual hay or grass, they tend to get a sudden burst of energy. They gallop around with a newfound zeal, stride with a sense of purpose, and seem to stand a little taller. Essentially, they're feeling their oats. Now, feeling one's oats isn't the only phrase that involves these humble grains. So your wild oats is another phrase that comes from the world of carbs. In this case, wild oats don't really need to be sown as they grow easily. To sow wild oats is to engage in some aimless flurry of activity. But wait, there's more. Off one's oats is a phrase someone might use when they have no appetite. And get one's oats? Well, that's a British slang term from the 1920s, meaning to achieve sexual gratification. And for those familiar with Cockney rhyming slang, oats and chaff means footpath. So the next time you find yourself brimming with energy or feeling particularly self-important, remember you're just feeling your oats. And why not embrace it? After all, who wouldn't want to feel as spirited as a horse fed on oats? So go ahead, feel those oats, sow them or do whatever else you're inclined to do. Just remember, it's all in good fun and it's all part of this wonderfully quirky language we call English.